In this clinical video, we're going to be using the LTM Precise Laser to do a little uh, gingivectomy procedure. The patient is not happy with the length of her, her teeth. So we're going to go, go around and probe. Uh, as you can see, her gum tissue is very healthy. There's plenty of attached gingival tissue. And as we probe, we just have two to three millimeters. Now, when we look at our sulcus depth, we have to be aware that when we're just doing a soft tissue procedure, we will be limited to has how much tissue we can actually take away. So here we're starting to take a little tissue away. We're not going to be taking a lot of tissue away for the patient, but just enough to make the teeth appear a little longer, give a little more length and, and a little more cosmetic appearance. So you can see we're just uh, running the laser along, gently removing that uh, gingival tissue, using it sort of in a uh, paintbrush, motion. You can see the tissue is just uh, literally uh, uh, being wiped away. Starting with the uh, canine there. Uh, the setting for this is we're using one watt continuous. Now just dragging it along there. A little paintbrush motion again. Taking a little tissue away. We are getting just a little slight charring which we'll be uh, taken care of at the end. We'll just use a, uh, a micro brush to uh, uh, gently take that away. It's very superficial. Uh, it's not going to cause any uh, recession or any problems, uh, post-op problems for the patient. So again, just slight uh, angulation to create uh, somewhat of a bevel uh, when we uh, remove that tissue. And you can see the uh, laterals gaining a little length. Just real nice procedure. As we get over to the uh, central, you'll notice that um, the... Uh, other central, number eight, had been, we had, we had done the uh, opposite side the day prior. And just because the patient had a uh, time constraint, we had to have her come back and we could only do uh, uh, one uh, area at a time. So you can see that after 24 hours, uh, the healing is uh, very nice. There's a little redness, which is to be expected. Uh, the post-op for the patient was to gently brush the area. And now we're just uh, going to try to match up the uh, uh, left side, the left anterior teeth, to uh, match the right side that was done uh, one day prior. So again, sort of a sweeping motion, just going along, just gently removing that tissue. Uh, you have to remember that you are going to be limited to how much tissue you can take away. Because if we do take too much tissue away, we will start impinging on the attachment and then we'll get a, uh, uh, either a grow back of the tissue or a chronic uh, inflammatory response uh, uh, or that, that reddish ring that sometimes we see uh, when we place a crown or, or a restoration that is impinged on the uh, biologic uh, uh, attachment. So here you see we're just a little, little touch up. Uh, there's a little uh, pigment on the tip which is being uh, just uh, sort of... Uh, marked onto the uh, tooth surface. Uh, we keep the tip, tip moving. Uh, that The amount of heat generated by the laser will not have an effect on the tooth if you keep the tip uh, moving. And we're just sort of oh, cleaning up some tissue tags and, and just getting our length just the way we want it, just going back and forth uh, to create that nice uh, little uh, appearance of a little longer length to those uh, anterior teeth. Uh, remember to wipe the tip as you are uh, doing the procedure. And then we'll go in and uh, start to use a little chlorhexidine to actually clean that uh, uh, little um, pigment or uh, clean up the little tissue tags on the teeth. So here we've uh, started to clean the uh, tissue up a little with the uh, chlorhexidine uh, little micro brush. As you can see that's going to remove uh, any of that little uh, pigment or, or stain that was caused by the laser and it's also going to help remove any little tissue tags that uh, may be left uh, when utilizing the laser. Uh, as you can see it, it gives the tissue a very nice appearance. Uh, we don't doesn't really even look like much was done as we, we clean that up. Now if you do have a little larger tissue tag, uh, sometimes you can also take a scaler or curette to just uh, uh, remove that as you're doing it. And here's, we're also going to go over the uh, 
uh, right anterior teeth, which we had done a day prior. And you can see that's healing up very nice. Uh, I would expect this within days to be uh, completely healed.